Hello and welcome. In this video, we are fixing the COM surrogate has stopped working with dllhost.exe pointer. Any Windows, either uh, Windows 7, 8, or Windows 10, uh, users have reported experiencing an issue where they receive an error message stating COM surrogate has stopped working while browsing folders containing videos or media files. Some users have also reportedly received this error while trying to print. COM surrogate is executable host process which runs in the background while you are navigating through files and folders. Due to this process, you are able to view thumbnails and when this process crashes, the error pops up up on the screen. This may be caused by corrupt codecs required to view the media. In this video, we are going to show you some steps that will hopefully fix the issue. First step is to repair corrupt system files. You need to download and run Reimage Plus to scan for corrupt files. The link is given in the video description. Let's quickly browse through this process. The link is given in video description. Start the download and scan your computer for the issues. The method that we have uh, Next is to roll back to previous display adopt drivers. To do this, press Windows key and press R. Type hdwwiz.cpl. Scroll to display adopters. Right click on your video adopter and click on properties. Go to driver tab. And click on rollback driver choose any option click on yes once you are done with this restart your computer and check if the issue is resolved Next method is to add DLL host.exe to the DEP exception. Go to start and then go to control panel. Click on system. From here, go to advanced system settings. Go to performance settings. Go to Data Execution Provision tab. Click on Turn on DEP for all programs and services except those I select. Click on Add. Navigate to C Windows System 32 and from here type dllhost.exe. Select the file. If you are running 64 bit windows, then add C Windows Sys WOW 64 and add dllhost.exe. Add this file. So one step above, it's a 64 bit system. So we are going to syswow folder. From here, find dllhost and add it. Once you have added it, Click on apply to save the changes. Once done, restart your computer and see if the issue is resolved. Our third method is to re-register the DLLs. To re-register the DLLs, open command form. Right click on the start menu. See if you get PowerShell, uh, uh, see if you can get a command from here or click on run and type CMD. You can also click on start, type CMD, right click on command prompt and click on run as administrator. Click yes prompt, UAC prompt. In the command prompt, type REG SVR32 space VB script dot DLL. Click OK. Type again REG SVR32 JS. C R I P T J script dot DLL and then hit enter. 
once this is done check if the issue is resolved if it doesn't we can move further on method 4 our method 4 is to check disk for errors hold windows key and press E on your drive right click on the drive and click on properties in properties go to tools tab and click on check now click on scan drive wait for the procedure to get completed next method is to update codecs the links are given in the video description for windows 7 go to this URL and update the latest codecs similarly for windows 8 and windows 10 Go to this URL which is given in Windows video's description and download the codex. Our next method is to reset Internet Explorer. The issue can also be caused due to the cached files. In this instance, it would be best to reset Internet Explorer. To do this, press Windows and R, type INETCPL.CPL, hit enter go to the advanced tab and click on reset check delete personal settings and hit, hit the reset button wait for the process to get complete now restart the computer and check if the issue is resolved I hope this video will be helpful for you thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe our channel